Hello everyone, Wyvern Falcon back with another X-Plane video. We're just going to bring the tone down a little bit on this one because I want to tell a story. And it's a really moving story um, about a uh, personal experience I had with someone from my old unit back in Kansas. For those who don't know, I used to be part of the Kansas Air National Guard, which has a rich history behind it. And... Uh, while I was out there, there was one person in particular that uh, stood out to me. Uh, his name was uh, John Holler. <clears throat> he was a, uh, a master sergeant. He's now a retired master sergeant. Um, but he, was, he seemed like a crazy guy because he, oh man, did he know his order of battle. He could chew your ear off if he could, talking about uh, any sort of enemy naval warships because uh, he... he uh, he looked into that a lot, uh, especially when it came to uh, things like the Caspian Sea Monster, where the uh, where the sub bases were located, what kind of subs were out there. He kept track of all of that. Well, maybe not kept track, but uh, he was definitely interested in it. It was definitely one of his passions. But part of his heritage when he was at the Kansas Air National Guard is that in the late 70s, he was a crew chief for the uh, now decommissioned F-4D Phantom which is the plane that I'm going to be flying today. Something very special about this plane that I'm flying right now. I, um, I spent a couple of days changing the paint on it to uh, reflect an aircraft that was truly special to this man. And I remember him telling me how much it broke his heart when he heard that in 1990 I had been sent to the, to the boneyard, essentially. It was decommissioned. It was done. Because that was his baby. It was tail number 65711. As a matter of fact, his nickname for this plane was Lady because of how sweet she flew. She was, uh, she was definitely his pride in the fleet during those times. So in honor of retired Master Sergeant John Holler, I'm going to fly this plane, which was near and dear to him. And I really hope this is as close that he's going to get to it flying once again. Uh, it has custom paint and it has custom sounds with it. So I hope you all enjoy. I'll uh, do a little bit of commentary just to uh, give people a background on the unit back in that time. So first things first, it all started with the 127th Observation Squadron, I believe is what it was called, uh, stood up on my birthday, July 30th of 1940. And it was there where the unit had gone through so many wars. It was in World War II with the P-51 Deltas, and it uh, had gone through the F-86s, the F-100s, and then eventually... The summer of 1979 was when the unit started receiving its first F-4D Phantom IIs. Uh, for this flight, we're going to be launching from my, my home base, or was, um, where the Kansas Air National Guard is right now, McConnell Air Force Base in Kansas. And we're going to do a little flight around my, my old hometown in Wichita. Of course, I don't live there anymore.
in regards to uh, 65-0711 tail number specifically, um, that was, he considered that his baby. He uh, kept it flying in tip-top shape, and um, during one of its routine maintenances, he uh, left his mark on the plane, so to speak, uh, when he was doing a painting on the right aileron. Underneath it, where the lighter gray would normally be, he painted it in the darker gray that's on the top. That way he would be able to determine which one was his during the formations. Of the sorties that this plane conducted, most of them were air to air due to the fact that uh, it was a lot easier to maintain this plane for air to air rather than air to ground. Simply because that put a lot of strain on the airframe uh, when it did air to ground. And now we're just going to kind of dive in to uh, Wichita McContinent. I guess it's Dwight D. Eisenhower Airport now. And uh, just buzz the tower. So yeah, this tale was with him uh, between the years of 1979 up until 1990 when it uh, saw its last sortie and uh, was, was sent off to the boneyard. John mentioned once upon a time that he was uh, actually able to uh, take the back seat in one of, the, uh, one of the F4s. He didn't specify to me at the time whether or not it was his baby or another F4, but he did mention that he took a flight in an F4 Phantom. And uh, he mentioned how they began flying at over 800 knots and uh, things were just rattling like crazy. So I attempted to emulate that as much as possible, at least with the wind sounds. Uh, as it goes faster, you can hear it rattle even more, and even much more than it is right now. But the F-4 Phantom was definitely a very unique aircraft. Just simply because of its design, uh, what it was designed for, uh, primarily in the uh, Vietnam War, it served as a MiG killer. Um, some people may know about that already. It was uh, designed without guns, but uh, incorporated a radar tracking system. The radar that was put into it guided the AIM-7 Sparrows onto its target, uh, along with uh, the ability to carry uh, the AIM-9 missiles, uh, which were infrared-guided. I know at least through my unit alone, there was two confirmed MiG kills, uh, both of them MiG-21s, same sortie.
And of course, flying like this won't uh, won't actually happen in real life, considering that I'm going well over Mach 1. At this point, McConnell would have to deal with about 200,000 complaints about broken windows and car alarms going off, just from the sonic boom alone. And as we come in through our approach, we're going to go right over the golf course that was right next to the university that I used to go to. So if anybody's familiar with Wichita State University, that was my college that I went to.
So I hope everybody enjoyed this video and uh, enjoyed this little showcase. It was a great honor to be able to uh, talk with my old buddy John Holler again and uh, talk about this specific aircraft. And it was a lot of fun being able to make this video and make it possible so that uh, an old veteran would be able to see his plane fly once again. real 65-0711 won't ever fly again, but at least here, the legend never dies. It's a salute to you, John, a salute to the F-4 Phantoms that were in our squadron, a salute to the 127th Tactical Fighter Squadron back in the day, and to the 184th Tactical Fighter Group at the time, which is now the 184th Intelligence Wing. If you enjoyed the story, please like, subscribe, and share this video, and I'll see you next time.